Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cyber Cookie Monster. So in this episode, we're going to do a little shameless product placement, uh, but it's not my product and I don't sell it. Uh, but it does work really well. So I do a lot of work with uh, Z-Wave and Home Automation and Home Seer and these sort of things. Uh, one issue with the Z-Wave devices is if you have one malfunction, it can really cripple a network because it's a mesh network. Uh, if it's malfunctioning where it won't, basically it won't shut up, and it keeps uh, repeating some sort of command, it can flood the network to the point where it's almost like you have a denial of service, or if you're um, familiar with electronic warfare, like you're being uh, jammed. All right. So there's an interesting, uh, very cheap way through Amazon uh, to figure out which device is going crazy on you. Uh, this is something I bought. It was very cheap. I'll try to put a link somewhere. Uh, and it was, I don't know, I think at the time it was 10, 15 bucks, maybe less. It's from China. It takes a while to get here. But it's really handy. It's a spy bug detector, I guess. So you can find out if there's a hidden camera somewhere and some other goofy stuff. But the reason I wanted it is it has a, an adjustable range for the RF that it'll listen to and a, an adjustable setting for the sensitivity. So I'm going to show you how it works and how easily it works and how you can use it to detect if your Z-Wave devices are, are okay or find the troublemaker essentially. So a little quick unboxing. Okay. It's all pretty straightforward. It has an internal battery and, and plug-in charger which is nice. Uh, after I found the correct Frequency, I went ahead and put some two-sided sticky tape on there so it can't get uh, bumped off of the correct setting. All right, we'll go ahead and turn it on. All right. Now it's probably detecting the phone right now. Not much I can do about that. So this is a Z-Wave switch. We'll see what happens when I push the button. Okay, and I'll turn it off. See how it flashes up there? Well, if this switch were malfunctioning, it would just be flooded all the way up three, four of these, and it would just be nonstop. Just be like that, you know. But it's not, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I had a plug in module. Uh, one of those ones where you plug into the outlet and go crazy and it, it really crippled me. But after I figured out which which one it was, it was very, uh, very simple. All it was was a matter of unplugging it, plugging it back in, and we were right back in business. So I ho hope you've found this um, useful and uh, best of luck.